Killing. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you all have had a great first half of the month. Um, if you have not checked out your last readings, definitely go check them out. They are in a playlist. Um, the last one actually goes through today. Of course, they can linger. It's time, you know. Um, we are going to go ahead and get your readings out for the remainder of the month. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started <clears throat> on your reading. I don't really remember what your last reading was about. I'm sure it'll come back to me um, once we actually get started. Now here, the, here comes the birds, okay, because they, they were quiet until we started. So I guess it's a lot to be said. So we're going to go ahead and jump into your reading. <laughs> oh, they're ready. Wow. Wow. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. These messages are for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, please keep in mind it is a collective uh, Divine Masculine reading. Okay. So every message may not apply to you. I do have individual sign messages um, on the channel as well. So definitely go check those out. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for the any support and all support. Okay. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for divine masculine. Block any interference that stop, stops <laughs> that stops their messages from coming through. Lord, they really start turning up now. Tap into your spiritual power. Okay, something new for you, Divine Masculine. It says, reach out to a power greater than yourself to help solve a dilemma. Stay open to his guidance in your life. All right. So this is instantly giving me not only the most high, but, you know, you actually, you know, if you know you have your guardian angels with you, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, forces walking with you that actually could be sitting right beside you that you pay no attention to. You need to start utilizing them. OK, and this says release shame. All right. It says if you've been shamed for being sensitive or anything else, tell yourself I'm ready to release this shame. I am a loving, caring person. All right. So, yeah, don't be ashamed. It's OK. You're ready to release that. So you need to release shame. OK. In the second half of the month, divine masculine. All right. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk me every day. These messages are for Divine Masculine. What do we have for them October the 16th through the 31st? And right now is a great time to do that, okay? The, the veil is thin, okay? Um, just this month in general, the veil is thin. So just definitely, this is a time if you're going to, you know, you know, tug on, you know, that passed over a loved one, you know, and say, hey, man, I need your help. Hey, dad. Hey, grandma. Hey, the mom. Hey, whatever. You need to really, you know, uh, take advantage of that. OK, if it's new to you. But I understand, you know, I remember soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. OK, so some of you are waking up or remembering some things. OK, things are coming back to you. OK, it says all paths lead home. OK, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Yes, it's really giving me like awakening energy for you. The second half of this month of our masculine, maybe some things have been revealed to you. Uh, which you which you uh, learned the first half of this month you didn't know you know in September or August or something like that yeah it's, it's actually giving me that you on your soul's journey okay what we got for divine masculine what does divine masculine need to focus on be aware of second half of October October 16th through the 31st wow okay it says uh the fertile void inner winter rest patience potency secret beginnings okay so uh keeping some things to yourself you know moving smart strategically 
Um, don't tell anybody your business, the moves that you're making. All right. Looks like you're about to come into some things. All right. Or this where you already at with it. Okay. It says the rose thread, inner call, soul led, the mystic living courageously. Okay. And this says the sun. Wow, divine masculine. Joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, play. Yes. So light is being shed on a lot. Like you guys are like stumbling upon a lot of stuff right now is what this is giving me. Like y'all really like stepping into y'all power is what this is giving me. Look at this. I know that's right. Girl, you better do your thing, divine masculine. I love to see it. I know that's right. Inner authority. That's right. Wake it on up. The faded life versus the destiny life. Yeah. So y'all getting on y'all path. Y'all getting on y'all path to righteousness. Look, y'all getting on y'all path. This say all paths lead home. Yeah. The faded life versus the destiny life. That's where y'all let with it. I know that's right. Very, this reading already powerful. Ooh. That thing say inner call. Y'all feel it. That's all it is. I, I know that's right. Divine Master. You better do your thing, man. Okay. I love to see it for y'all. You know, I've been rooting for y'all. Yes. Since before, I started doing Divine masculine, Divine Feminine readings. Um, all right. What we got for Divine Masculine? October the 16th through the 31st. I feel real good. The energy feels real good going into this reading, Divine Masculine. Let's see. All right. What's up, Spirit? What's going on? Look at that. Taking things serious, using that brain of yours, thinking things out, going within. Yes, I love to see it, Divine Masculine. Y'all cutting things out and no longer serve you, working hard. Yes, only worried about yourself. If it ain't you and your kids, you ain't worried with it. Or your lady, you ain't worried with it. I know that's right. Yes. Look at, look at this. Look at this. So it looks like you're working hard at something, okay? Um, you could be obsessively working is what this is giving me. But it looks like there could be somebody at your workplace that you need to be aware of. Okay? Yeah. Maybe y'all get money together or something like that. Or maybe at one time y'all did. All right? So you need to be mindful of, of, you know, I don't know if you got like a somebody, you know, just... Make sure that you know what this is. You know, uh, somebody could be just watching you at work or um, this could be just, you know, micromanaging or whatever. Somebody is like just hell. They give you a headache. Um, they always trying to plot on you or something like that. You need to be mindful of this, of this person. Yeah, they could want your spot or something like that. Or they, they, they taking information to somebody else is what this is giving me too. So you need to be mindful of that too. Like maybe you have a like a, a woman boss or something like that. It's like they take information to this person. Okay. Um, or somebody at your job could be spying to take something back to your lady. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of that. I don't know what you got going on with work, but you need to check on that. All right. There's something going on with work that you need to be aware of. All right. So you got the four of pentacles here. I don't know what you scared of. It looks like something has you. Okay. Wow. It looks like someone could have been hidden in plain sight. This is a spiritual connection. Maybe you held back from this person. Okay. Maybe even hurt this person or uh, hurt this person's feelings or whatever the case may be. Or maybe this is on your mind. Maybe somebody held back from you. Okay. Um, and this could be somebody that you were connected to or meant to be connected with. I don't know. Maybe you went through a breakup here. Yeah. It just, I mean, it looks like there could have been some intimidation here or, um, so somebody overthinking. Somebody could have overthought whatever this is or maybe there was things hidden. But with this temperance in the moon card, with the justice and the lovers, it gave me that somebody was hidden in plain sight. And then over here, it just gives me a lot of paranoia and anxiety and, and you know, like somebody being defensive or uh, or something like that. So it looks like something could have went wrong with that. Okay. 
but let's go ahead we're gonna stay i don't know something going on with your connection so make sure you watch that okay don't overthink in the second half of this month divine masculine use your head like your real true thoughts okay you got the high priestess you got the will of fortune lovers at the bottom of the deck something is fated to happen here okay um something in regards to your intuition your gift of discernment you are being enlightened you are being called okay so some of you could already have been feeling this or what is this what you know and maybe it makes you nervous very powerful cars coming out divine masculine for the second half of the month okay wow this is this is beautiful i mean this is just somebody is just I, divine masculine what you you it, oh. all right you got the queen of wands so if this isn't you, this is somebody who you're connected to. You're connected to this powerful person or something. Or this, I mean, I, oof. But it looks like somebody is very confident, not nervous of the spotlight, not nervous to be in the public eye. But it does look like somebody holds back. So maybe maybe this is something that someone is saying to you. Maybe somebody is telling you to lighten up or take action. Maybe you need to take initiative to do something, okay? Um, something also deals with somebody that you, you know, I mean, maybe you're healing right now. You're in a healing space right now. you resting right now. That's what it is. in time out. Yeah. Inner winter, rest, patience, potency, secret beginnings. You just chilling. You working, you chilling, you ain't you're not you're not exhausting your energy. If you're not at work, you're just not doing anything. Not much of anything anyway. If it's not important, you got the Empress. Wow. With the temperance. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it looks like, like I said, it looks like there could be a promotion in the works here. Or that's what you you're trying to get to a certain position or to a certain person. Or a certain person came across your path. Maybe they came. It, maybe this person came across your path. Or this person is coming across your path at work. So be mindful of that. Be mindful. This person could be hidden in plain sight. Like I said, you know, maybe they're they're just somebody could be just like drop dead gorgeous, and maybe you just think they like a thought box or something with this Queen of Wands out here. But this person is a very powerful person with the Empress and the High Priestess here. Okay, they're already they're gonna help you get to where you're trying to go. They're gonna help you do this work that you you know they're gonna help you. Somebody can help you on your next level. Like I said, it looks like you're trying to work towards a promotion. Eight of Pentacles is very hard work, and this person has already done it. They're the Empress, so you're gonna have to trust this person that they know what you need next. They're gonna teach you how to use your gift of discernment. They're gonna teach you. Okay. Somebody is a mystic. This says the mystic. Okay, so just you're gonna have to you have you're gonna have to believe it that this person brings light and they have what you need on your healing soul's journey. Okay, so beautiful energy. All right, you got the two of pentacles, so it looks like you're weighing some things out. You're thinking very hard about something, whether you should give to a situation, get you know, get back to a situation, or you're thinking about something in regards to money, though, or energy. Look, I'm telling you, this somebody, somebody in your energy, divine masculine, is really playing with you because you being called and the person in your energy, somebody got you kind of on the fence about somebody. If you going off of opinion, off of whoever this person is, you need to do your own research. That's why this out here. Tap into your spiritual power. You need to use your own inner guidance, your own inner roles. Even ask the most high, ask whoever your ancestors are here. You need to, somebody here, you being blocked from seeing something. And it could be this coworker of yours. Like I said, this is somebody that you actually like give back and forth or exchange energy with or something like that some of y'all playing with the devil and y'all need to be mindful okay of whatever that is because somebody here is very powerful and somebody could you know divine masculine make sure you're not sleeping on this person because somebody got somewhere to be they're already on their destiny they're already on their path Okay, so you need to turn your gaze within. You need to stop. Don't go off of somebody, whoever you're working closely with. Okay, or they work closely with you. Maybe they see this person. Maybe this person is bright, whoever this is. They can't be missed. 
unless they're hidden in plain sight and you're not looking you know do your own research yeah you're gonna have to do your own research use your own intellect use your own smarts do your own thing the king of swords came out with the hermit at the bottom of the deck you have to do it something is a, is this is so lit so planned inner authority intuition stop don't let somebody if somebody else can tell you what to do you're not ready to be the boss <laughs> and that's just period if somebody else can tell the boss how to boss then you're not a boss i'm sorry you're not a leader there's a difference between a boss and a leader you're not a good leader you're not fit to lead if somebody else can sway your opinion about somebody because it looks like that's what somebody somebody could sway your opinion about if you should, I guess, believe this mystic who brings the sun. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Divine Masculine. Tell us more spirit, please and thank you. Second half of the month for Divine Masculine. Yeah. So it looks like somebody could be cre creating a block here. So be mindful of that. Um... I mean, the Ten of Wands is right here with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. The Empress is on this side with the Destiny, with the Hangman. You got the star down here. All right. So something could strictly be image on this side. Somebody has, they lack over here. There's there's not much, you know. So, but this Empress is all of everything on here. Highly intuitive, very enlightened. Somebody is very hopeful too, very faithful Okay, they, they hold a lot of faith, a lot of wisdom as well. We've seen the hermit. They're beautiful. They're confident. Okay, maybe they hide a lot. It's something you can't see or somebody is blocking from you. Somebody is also, I'm telling you, somebody's been through a lot. So make sure you don't misjudge this person. Maybe look this up. If this person is, I'm telling you, this per is somebody that you're connected to or that you exchange things with. I'm telling you, is running off. Like there, somebody is swaying your opinion. So make sure your opinion is strictly yours, divine masculine. Okay? Make sure it's facts. Forget opinions. Make sure it's facts. Because somebody has a lot of, they've been doing something for years. Okay? Don't believe just what meets the eye. Go do some research. Okay? Is what they're saying. Don't misjudge this person. So it looks like y'all may be running into an angel in the second half of the of the month or a light worker, something of the sort. Somebody's a light worker here. They're mystic. They're bold. They're courageous. They move different. They move inside. This says secret beginning. So, you know, but somebody wants to block your vision from this person or block your judgment, your better judgment. OK, your better judgment matters in, in this month. OK, in the second half of this month. All right. Can I get one, please, on the high priestess? Maybe somebody wants to be on the side or the things that they say. This is like the person that can't they can't produce. I guess I, maybe they can re produce receipts, but are they valid? So you need to be checking everything. Something is blocking your, your light. The high priestess or your intuition, your discernment, your better judgment. The high priestess is clarified by the high priestess. Somebody is, they're upright. They're true. They're the real thing. Somebody is the real thing. They tell the truth. Somebody comes to you. They make an offer to you. They're telling the truth. So, I mean, you just got to be mindful. Whoever this person is, they will have what you need. And it's okay to ask. Like, I mean, I really don't. I mean, I've been through a lot in life. Can you tell me more so that I believe that you're really who you tell me you are? You know, like, can you show me like a, a place where I can find these receipts or can you show me, you know what I'm saying? Like you can ask for the evidence. It's OK. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. You don't have to just go off of their word. And that could be the issue here. You're going off somebody else's words, but make sure everything adds up. The Wheel of Fortune, please, for Divine Masculine, second half of the month. Because somebody is trying to deter you away from an empress, okay? The Knight of Swords. So something is moving very fast, or you did something too fast. Yeah. 
it looks like you're you're you regret whatever this is. You turned your back on this person. Yeah. Look like you may have, you know, kind of put your defense up, your guard up against this person. Yeah. You just kind of <sighs> So if if this if you don't I mean, I don't know. Some of you have already done this. Okay. Let me get one on the hangman. If this hasn't happened, please just don't. You got the yeah, you're confused. You don't know what to think. But the problem is right beside you. <laughs> it's who you work closely with. Okay. Give me one more, please, on the hangman and the seven of cups. It's somebody you give to or they give something to you. You exchange something in some kind of way. You know, maybe you think, you know, something is reciprocated. That you give to them, they give to you, you you know, or something like that. But it's it's them. Mm -hmm. The hangman with the seven of cups. But we already have seven, seven, seven out here. We're looking at the devil with the page of swords. I mean, somebody is just, somebody doesn't want you to win, Divine Mask. When I'm going to say it. All right, look at I, what I what I'm looking at because I didn't even like no look at this Queen of Wands. I don't know something else something to do with the fire sign feminine specifically, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy, and it's touching the Queen of Wands. So it could be this person as well, but it could be anybody. The Wheel of Fortune is also Sagittarius energy. So I mean, anyway. This card right here says perspective. Like, I didn't even notice this card underneath here, but it was peeking. But this says none of this matters. Zoom out, coming ground. Okay? So, that's that's what... But look at this. It's all in the way you look at something. If you look at some, something like this, somebody wants you to look at somebody that's very big, this small. But the person who also is very big wants you to look at them this small. But everything is not what it seems. Okay? Because the things that matter are in the details. Okay? <laughs> so, um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get one more on the hangman with the seven of cups. Yeah, so, you know, just make sure you... Yeah, it just looks like there's somebody, I don't know, it's, it's something that could have something to do with like a family dynamic. Something here is done though. This is a very emotional, this is very emotional. Whatever whatever this is, is very emotional, okay? Um, you need to leave this confused mindset behind, okay? It looks like something, confusion is not from the most high, okay? That's from the devil. So be mindful of somebody maybe even trying to uh, block your abundance, okay? Making you put your guard up, put your, you know, walk away from something, okay? Be mindful of that. Yeah. You need to leave this behind. You need to leave behind whoever this is. Something can have something to, to you know. Um, something is just, you need to leave this behind, okay? This person, this mindset, th this confusion, whatever this is. Um, something could actually deal with family, okay? But like I said, this could be, a, you know, this could be an actual family member or like maybe you're a big provider for a lot of people. You got to do for a lot, supply for a lot. You know, you got a lot of responsibilities, but you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to just say, "Hey, time out. Like, I need to rest. I need to work on me. I need to work on my abundance." Yeah. Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. That's the Eight of Cups. You need to leave this behind. So you either need to leave this stagnancy behind, staying complacent, staying in the same limbo, whatever this is, just hanging out. You could be just hanging out with family, doing nothing, in an illusion. The Seven of Cups with the Ten of Cups is an illusion. That's a facade. Okay. Give me one on the star. So maybe you need to think about that. All right. The star. This is for Divine Masculine. Second half of October. October the 16th through the 31st. The Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a commitment. Okay. It could be a relationship. It could be a home as well. But it looks like there could have been something here that was supposed to. It looks like you were supposed to reconcile. So something deals with the spirit that you've already known. 
Okay. Like maybe somebody is just so, somebody here is just so, somebody you can't, you can't, you can't put your finger on this person. This person, it really is weird to you. Like you, they really creep you out. Like for real, low key, hockey, hockey, they, they creep you out by masculine. Okay. But this is somebody like you turned your back on this person. Yeah. So, I mean, that could be something where you two are in a relationship where if somebody is stressing you, okay, or just it's too much to handle. Somebody is just way too much. Maybe they juggle you. you it's probably about time you turn your back on that to go heal. You don't even get a peaceful night's sleep in your home is what this looks like to me. Okay. So there's a healing connection somewhere else. All right. But something is karmically meant to happen and karmically meant to happen fast. Okay. Let me get one on the Empress. Or something's going to come in fast. You're, whatever you, this, I remember some things that you're going to just, something's going to be like, hmm. Yeah. Everything's going to just like rush in. The Empress. the devil mm. with the world card so some of you can actually have a very toxic mother of your children so that could be what this is as well you fuss with this person all the time something can have something to do with the child okay um but this definitely somebody that you're dealing with okay so this is an actual lover maybe you even married to this person for some of you yeah it looks like this person may be i mean i don't know what they've done for some of you, this is your mother. So that could be what this is. Your mother could be confusing you with this Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups here on your Divine Feminine. Your mother could be paying out your Divine Feminine to be toxic. And the devil. So you're going to have to see on this one, Divine Masculine. You're going to have to go within. So here's the thing, Okay. When it comes to somebody, maybe this is something that you're, you know, for some of you, you, you could be dealing with somebody where you take care of the responsibilities. You're the provider for a lot of people. OK, you 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 keep the household together or you keep the lights on. You know what I'm saying? Um, per se. Um, but it's 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 giving me that it's just somebody here. Maybe they are a little strange or whatever, but somebody is magnificent. Like somebody wouldn't paint somebody out to be fraud or this and that and the worst of the worst when all you see with your eyes and all you feel with their energy is good. If this person wasn't great. If this person was more so on the level of the person that is trying to paint them that way, they wouldn't even paint the picture. They would blend right into the family. They would go right into the illusion with y'all and they would just blend in. And then mommy's happy or baby mama's happy or whoever. So be mindful of the feminine that you have in your life. I don't care whether it's platonic, you know, feminine or masculine. Take it how it resonates because somebody's definitely running off on somebody here. And it's furthermore stressing you out. It's not bringing you peace. You see what I'm saying? For some of you, you are going, it's going to be revealed to you that something was just meant for you to fumble the play and mess up things with this person. And you're going to want to charge at this person. It's going to make you upset because somebody else's opinions is what's causing you to judge this person in this way. Give me one on the judgment card, but that's coming to a close. Okay, so by the end of this month, something's coming to a close. Um, yeah, because something is just done here. You got the world card, the ten of wands, the ten of cups. Yeah, it's just it's complete. This is done. This is this too much. All right. And and there's just something now that all of this has played out. Now all of the hidden forces and all of that are kind of working in to cahoots a different you know ancestors the universe okay it's spirits just this is spiritual power this is things are working now now that all of this has gone down so you're gonna be mad when you find out the truth that's what they're saying okay give me one on this judgment over here what is this something is causing you to misjudge somebody 
or you know look at this i can't make this up i can't make this up divine masculine somebody wants you to sabotage this there somebody is blatantly blatantly another 10 somebody is blatantly blatantly betraying you Mm-hmm. they want you to sabotage this they want you to gamble this. They want you to, yeah. Give me one on this Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody you work closely with, you've worked with, you sometimes work with. This is somebody from work. Maybe y'all do the same thing for work. I mean, I don't know. Y'all work in the same profession. It's something like that. A number eight could be significant. Give me one on the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify this. Yeah, they want you to misjudge this. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles. They want you to miss out on this. You're going to regret this. You're going to regret this because this person here is solid and they got the receipts. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. They, they, listen, the Queen of Pentacles is here because they, they've done the work. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody has done the work. They have the receipts. You're going to regret this. Make sure you do your own research. Yeah, look at this. Because this is this is what somebody wants for you. And this could be actually somebody you work closely with. Or like I said, you know, you guys, I don't know, work together or exchange words together or something like that. This is somebody you actually personally know. You got love for them. They got love for you. Y'all talk back and forth. Y'all exchange things back and forth or something. They buy your service. You buy their service or something like that. But you also consider them a part of the, the clique, the, the fam, or something like that. But something, if you don't do your own research, you're going to end up in regret. You are. Mm-hmm. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. So you need to take the initiative here to remove this blockage. They will assist you. Or somebody here is here to assist you. Somebody here is trying to un. un Somebody's marked here too. So they just they won't they don't have good favor. This person is there's nothing there. It's a very low vibrational. You would know the difference, divine masculine. Okay. Uh Queen of Wands, please. You got the Empress out here and you got the Queen of Wands. The half priest is out here twice. Cause like like I said, like something is in a community of people. You gonna you need to pray about whatever this is. You need to lay your weapons down too. Make sure you make the right judgment call, which would be walking away. Okay. Somebody could want you. You need to walk away from this person. So this queen of wands could be somebody that's actually in your family. Or like I said, you know, this could be a community of people. Maybe it's a work family. This could be your work family. You got the eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles, you know, something to have something to do with somebody, you know. But behind the eight of cups is the chariot. So you walk that's putting you on the vehicle and you're gone. You're being called right now. So this is kind of like your warning before destruction. Okay. Um, because up along down the road you could have um a, a really big issue it looks like it could be a lot of stress out here um so you got two choices here the two of pentacles is the center of the reading and this says the faded life versus the destiny life okay so you could go where this other person is leading you or you could do your own research and go to where you are led. This says soul led. And somebody here is a mystic. They really are led by spirit. The Holy Spirit. Okay. You could tell the difference. I'm glad I always start my readings off with a prayer too. Always. You could tell the difference. Okay. You'll be able to tell the difference. You'll be able to know. You know. So it could be an issue here about who to better believe. You know. You know how that goes. Because two people could look exactly the same way, but check, check their track, rec track record and check, I can't even talk, and check their credentials. 
But something is fated to come in here or to happen, to fall apart, however you want it. Okay? Somebody actually has the receipts, though, to back up what they're saying or the experience. Okay? You know, it's, it's beyond just words. You could see it. If you look for it. If you look for it, you can see it. I don't know if you sit across the table from whoever this person is, but I don't know. Try looking them in their eyes. See if you see anything there. The eyes is the windows to the soul. Just see if there's anything there. Because somebody's definitely trying to play with you. And this is somebody that you're closely knit with. That you, you know, maybe you went to their home. They've come to your home. Or this person is like, like I said, part of the family. Mm-hmm. Like you two have a relationship together. Be it platonic or romantic or whatever. Thank you. Confidence is your key to success.